Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminal Ollie, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today I've got five crime writers for you who each wrote a shed load of books, most of which are very good. So these writers are all writers who I would say, if you walk into a charity shop or a thrift shop or a second-hand bookshop or whatever, and you see one of their books going cheap, just buy it because it will be great value for money. You'll almost certainly have a good time with it. Um, and also it will probably be quite short. So even if you don't enjoy it, you won't have invested a lot of time in reading it. Um, these five crime writers between them wrote around 480 books which is for five for five people that's a lot of books so yeah they were all very very prolific writers i can't claim to have read all of the books by all of the authors i certainly haven't um but the vast majority of the books i have i have read by them have been books i've enjoyed um so i think they are very reliable writers um who will give you a good time if you like crime and mystery fiction Okay, so I will start with the most prolific um, of the authors. That is Georges Simenon, the Belgian author, um, who wrote around 200 novels, um, which is a phenomenal amount, isn't it? Um, he, he was published between... Um, so his first novel was published in 1931, um, and he was still writing um, into the 1970s. Um, he's most famous for the character of Inspector Maigret. There are 75 Maigret novels. Um, and Maigret is... One of those kind of very dogged um, police detectives who just keeps on, you know, chipping away at the clues um, until he solves the case. So the Maigret novels are a lot of fun. Um, but Simonon also wrote a lot of um, standalone books like this, uh, The Snow Was Black. Um, so this is a, um, a, a kind of crime and punishment type story, as, as many of his standalones are, in that it's about, uh, you know, the commission of a crime and then the impacts of that crime um, on both the... the criminal um, and the people around them. Um, so some of his stuff is quite heavy to be honest with you. The Maigret books tend to be a bit lighter. Some of his standalone stuff is a bit heavier. Um, moving on then to a favourite of mine who I've talked about on the channel recently, Ed McBain. Um, so author of the 87th Precinct series, so my very favourite um, book series of all time. Um, so McBain wrote um, 76 uh, novels as Ed McBain. Um, and 43 novels under other names, including his, uh, his real name, Evan Hunter. Um, so he was born Salvatore Lombino, uh, changed his name to Evan Hunter, wrote a number of books under that name. Um, most of his books were written as Ed McBain, but he did write under about four or five other pseudonyms as well. The vast majority of his, of his work is crime fiction. Uh, he, did write, um, he did write some science fiction early on as well. The thing that... Um, Simonon and uh, McBain and the other um, writer of series that I'm going to talk about um, have in common um, is that their books can be read, the, the books in the series can be read in any order. So you can pick up, and this isn't one of the 87th Precinct books, but you can pick up any one of the 87th, 87th Precinct books uh, and you know it won't matter if you haven't read the books before it. Similarly, um, with Simonon, you can read any of the Maigret books. You don't have to read them in order. Um, so seriously, if you see one of their books on the shelf and it's cheap, get it. Um, so McBain, as I said, best known for the 87th Precinct series, also wrote um, another series called the Matthew Hope series, which is about a lawyer who lives in Florida um, and also wrote a number of standalone crime novels. Um, he's most famous for... Um, the kind of police procedural type of, of fiction which the 87th Precinct um, is famous for um, but some of these other crime novels are you know very different kind of wacky mysteries and uh, you know novels about criminals and things like that um, as well as no novels about cops. Um, next up then probably the most predictable name on the list Agatha Christie um, so author of 66 crime novels uh, between 1921 and 1976 so, you know, the, the Grand Dame, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, um, of, um, of, you know, kind of golden age British crime fiction, um, most famous for um, her character Hercule Poirot, um, of which this is one of the books, and also Miss Marple. So she writes quite intricate, um, kind of, 
people refer to Christie as, as kind of cosy mysteries, but some of her books, um, and then there were none, is a good example of this, are actually quite brutal, um, but they're all fantastic. So um, as with uh, McBain and Simenon, you know, you can read the books that are in a series um, in any order, um, and you're pretty much guaranteed a good time with Agatha Christie um, if you like a mystery. Um, next up, another writer most famous for... Um, his one of his series so that is John D MacDonald creator of Travis McGee so Travis McGee um, is in a series of novels so there are uh, 21 Travis McGee novels um, and um, MacDonald also wrote 43 standalone crime novels so the Travis McGee books are about um, this guy who is a um, what's the word I'm looking for he's like a salvage guy so he's someone who finds things that have been lost um, and inevitably, um, you know, ends up in, in investigating crimes as a result. Um, he's a beach bum half of the year, so he lives on a houseboat and just kind of bums around and gambles and drinks and fishes. Um, and the, the other half of the year, he takes on cases to earn the money to, um, to fund his lifestyle. Um, he's a wonderful character, really chilled and laid back. Um, and the books have a fairly chilled vibe to them as well, albeit there tends to be a bit of action too, um, and also lots of women. So um, Trav McGee is definitely a, a fan of female companionship, um, so there's normally a few girls thrown in too. So they are, um, they're quite dated, and quite kind of 50s feeling, but they are very, very entertaining. Um, so MacDonald wrote between uh, 1950 and the mid-80s, um, as well as the Travis McGee books, as I said, lots of standalones. This is probably the most famous one. So originally published as The Executioners, filmed as Cape Fear. Yeah. Um, a fantastic book, a really excellent suspense novel. Um, so yeah, John D. McDonald is another one. If you see one of his books, just pick it up. Um, finally then, the least prolific um, of the authors is Elmore Leonard. So another writer that I'm a big fan of and have been reading since my teens. Um, so Leonard wrote 35... Um, crime novels um, as well as writing a number of westerns so he wrote dozens and dozens of western short stories um, and also I think about 10 western novels um, his crime fiction was published between kind of mid 70s and, and 2012 um, his crime books are very different from the other um, authors I've talked about so most of these authors most of their work is is detective fiction, you know, mystery fiction, whereas Elmore Leonard's books tend much more to be about criminals. So they're about, you know, robbers, um, con artists, that kind of thing, and the schemes they get involved in. Um, so he's a very big on dialogue. His books tend to have, you know, really punchy, fantastic dialogue, and just interesting characters getting into interesting situations um, and trying to work their way through them. So a, another writer. Um, who's I think is absolutely fantastic, quite different from the others. And I think each of these writers gives you something a little bit different. So Elmore Leonard, I think all of his books are standalones and, as I say, tend to be about the criminals rather than the detectives. Um, John D. MacDonald, either, you know, kind of f fantastic suspense novels or nice, fairly laid-back, quite humorous uh, mystery novels um, if you pick up the Travis McGee books. Um, Agatha Christie, kind of golden age detective fiction, absolutely wonderful. So McBain, most famous for his police procedural work, uh, which is just brilliant. So really gets into the detail of police investigations. Um, and then Simenon brings that kind of European vibe to things. Um, you know, May Gray is that kind of dogged solo detective. So whereas McBain writes about, um, you know, police detectives, he typically writes about groups of police detectives. So there are, you know, a number of different detectives in the 87th Precinct who work together. Um, whereas uh, May Gray is much more of a lone wolf. Um, so again, something a bit different with Simenon. So yeah, let me know if you've read any of those five authors. I'm sure you've probably pretty much all read at least one of them. Um, but those, yeah, those are my five picks for, for authors who, if you see one of their books um, going cheap, you can buy it with confidence that you're pretty much guaranteed to, to have a good read. Um, let me know what you thought of the list. Um, and as always, hope you're safe and well. Hope you're reading good stuff. And I'll speak to you again very soon. Cheerio.